Max Armstrong here with one more Grow North report from the fall conference of the National Agri Marketing Association, where members had a very successful and enjoyable fall conference. They've headed home now, but not before the presentation of Professional Development Awards of Excellence. Three of those presented, sponsored by Farm Progress. And the recipient of one of those was John Robinson with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association in the category of public relations. John talked with me about serving the people who produce our beef. You know, the, the men and women that we represent at the National Cattlemen's Beef Association really are uh, why we come to work in the morning. Uh, the folks on the ground doing the job, raising the beef, uh, those people, the ability to represent them and their stories uh, really makes uh, doing my job worthwhile. Another award of the Professional Development Awards of Excellence recognition of the National Agri Marketing Association was in that category of marketing communications. Jerry Genaria of the Brighton Agency was honored. Frankly, I was stunned. I was surprised that I'd been nominated and even more surprised that I had won. It's really a recognition of the work that the team has done uh, that I've been a part of over all these years. The team. Uh, you have put together uh, some folks who really have talent in the industry, haven't you? Absolutely. Brighton has really been growing over the last couple of years, and the people that we have is what makes all of the difference. They're, it's just an amazing group of people. Congratulations to Jerry. Also honored with a Professional Development Award of Excellence from NAMA, Sonia Tig with the Florida Specialty Crop Foundation and the Florida Fruit and Vegetable Association. She was unable to be in Minneapolis. We did enjoy a very pleasant reception right down the street from the Lowe's Minneapolis Hotel as we went down to the Broadhead Content Studio. And there we visited for a minute or two with Dean Broadhead, also on the program in a panel discussion. And Dean visited with me about the state of affairs in our industry these days and the challenging ag economy. You know, what you often do, we're saying, where can we find kind of half step to the rights where we can kind of grow our opportunities uh, beyond our current client operations. Um, but ultimately, we have to double down and say, how do we take care of the clients that we have and do a great job? Um, you know, the, the path to growth usually is, starts with keeping the clients that you have very satisfied. It's something that we've been very proud of over the years is that we have a pretty low turnover in, in that realm. Uh, that's really led to our ability to grow. Uh, our organization quite a bit over the years. We appreciated the visits with Dean Broadhead and with several folks on his staff as they welcomed us into their content studio right down the street from the Lowe's Hotel in Minneapolis. Oh, while there, we got to meet also Grown, the official mascot of this fall conference of the National Agri Marketing Association. Well, he was conceived in the mind of Eric Kvolset, of Cole McVoy. Uh, this character conveyed many of the pieces of Minnesota living that folks have come to know and love, as Eric explained to me. He's a combination of really all the things that uh, make Minnesota great, so, or at least recognizable. Um, I can kind of go through those if you like. We have the, uh, the Grain Belt Beer, a classic Minnesota brew. We have Paul Bunyan with the, uh, the shirt and the ax. We have the uh, walleye here in his uh, fin hand. His, uh, his loon lower body, uh, his uh, mosquito proboscis, loon eyes, uh, goldie gopher teeth, and then uh, babe the blue ox is kind of makes up the rest of them there. Oh, the Viking horns. Yeah, yeah well, and the Viking horns too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, our thanks to Cole McVoy for making Groan's appearance possible at the Fall Conference of NAMA. It was a great week of learning and education, networking, and at the same time, fellowship. We look forward to the spring conference coming up. Get the dates on your calendar, by the way. Put those into your smartphone April 10th through the 12th in Kansas City for that big 2019 conference. That concludes our reports on this year's fall conference. I'm Max Armstrong at This Week in Agribusiness.